Earlier this year, British cyclist Simon Yates tested positive for terbutaline, a point his team later confirmed. But they said a doctor had prescribed him an inhaler with terbutaline to treat his asthma. The World Anti-Doping Agency allows athletes to take the medication if they get therapeutic exemption for asthma, but only for the inhaler version. The oral form, which can be more potent, is banned. Medically, terbutaline is used to treat people who have breathing problems. It helps prevent shortness of breath and wheezing, in part by relaxing the muscles in the lungs. In doping, it is the most commonly detected banned substance among athletes in the category known as beta-2 agonists. In animal studies, this class of drugs can make muscle contractions stronger and help muscles get bigger. One study in humans showed similar effects regarding strength, but others haven't shown tributylene giving athletes a significant boost. So the verdict is still out on whether it really helps people gain a competitive edge. Currently, testing methods can't differentiate between the inhaled and oral versions, but WADA is conducting studies to see if more sensitive tests can be developed. Taken in large doses, terbutaline can cause minor liver damage that typically resolves itself after the person stops taking it.